Congratulations, you have found another episode of the Civilization Restart series. Alright, okay, so, last video did mid, at the time of recording this. However, I like making these videos, so they're going to continue getting made. If you want to the series to continue on, please go ahead and like and subscribe, and I should probably go watch a recap, because I remember not back. I, I think I would have been just fine. I... Don't think I forgot that much. I think I remembered most things. I would have been just fine without it. But, hey, now hopefully I stay true to the lore of the series. I know for you it's only been a day. For me, it's been over a week. Oh, I, uh, yeah. Yeah, anyways. So, we begin in this French province, which begins, like, the stability in this region went from here. And it's been going down ever since. So, yeah, uh, they start demanding even more autonomy. The red team says no. Because why would they say yes? Uh, and Stanistan continues spreading into even more lands, such as right there. Uh, they actually make a treaty with the Kievan Rus, which limits the Kievan Rus's expansion to... Nope, that looks horrible as a border. We're going to erase that. Nuh-uh. Nope. That's one thing I do on this channel. We, we make those borders look semi-decent. Anyways, uh, let's fix that. That is too straight. It needs to be more curvy. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, so, they they do that. And, so what this treaty is, basically, the Kievan Rus cannot expand anymore. They can expand north, but they can't expand that way anymore. This somewhat makes the Kievan Rus mad. But, you, you see how big they are. They're pretty big. They're not very strong, that's the thing. Stanistan... If a war, what happened with Stanistan and the Kievan Rus, Stanistan would demolish immediately. Actually, literally any country could demolish um, the Kievan Rus. Because, you know, not having military is one thing, but not having any allies that are willing to defend you, plus being an extremely unstable nation, Kievan Rus is kind of like, just, they're not in the position to be in a war in any way, unless someone else is helping them. Like, if this enti if the entirety of Stanistan went against this nation, they would lose. That's all I'm going to say. Um, mostly because that nation's backed by the red team, but still, even if it wasn't, they'd still lose. That nation has a stronger military than the Kievan Rus. Because, you know, if you have, they, they have the same problem as every country that's ever tried to own all of Asia. Uh, culture. And, and you know, people aren't gonna, not everyone wants to be a part of the same country. Now, the Kievan Rus actually want to take this, annex this land, and basically their thing for this is that, hey, all of this land is mostly full of people from Kievan Rus anyways, so just give this to us. Now, of course, the yellow team's going to say no, because that is where modern-day... Uh, I was going to say Constantinople, I don't know why. Modern-day um, St. Petersburg is. And just like in modern-day, it's an extremely important city. And so, yeah, I don't think they're going to be giving that up anytime soon. Negotiations begin around this plot of land, but mm, for the most part, it's going to standard control the yellow team. Flipper land, meanwhile helps a new country form, and this new country is going to be the Norwegian Republic. This is Scandinavia, that's Norwegian Republic. Hopefully for you guys it doesn't look too similar. If it does, I'm sorry about that. They're different countries. You can see the border between them. Um, and the, the Scandinavians still don't know anything exists up here, because, yeah. Also, that makes the Norwegian Republic the second country to um, have a coastline on the Arctic Ocean. Meanwhile, you know who hasn't done something in a long time? Our good pal, the blue team. And they still do nothing in a long time. They just they just go ahead and colonize Sri Lanka. That's it. This is mostly so they can, like, somewhat mandate the trade that's happening around the Indian Ocean. That's really it. Mostly just because these guys are, like... I have a bad feeling Pay 3D is going to crash again. Okay, um... So, yeah, that's mostly because Ekman's Empire is becoming, like, a really big thing with the global trade. They're becoming China in the modern day. The trade and, like... Most of the world's products are just coming out of them at this point. Um, this leads to the... What's their name? The what, What's the blue team's actual name? I've always just called them the blue team. I know they have an actual name, I just don't remember it. Uh, I think Arab Republic? Fish people. Fish land. Because I remember they used to do a lot of fishing back in the day. Alright, anyways, no, we're just gonna... I think it was Arab Republic, yeah. But either way, they go ahead and also colonize that part. So that they can completely block trade in case these guys decide to say anything about them. Meanwhile, uh, Barat's still not really having much international relations. Colonizes all of this land. And there's legends. There's legends in their country. that Because the, uh, they see a bunch of fences. And, and as far as they know, literally no one 
exists. But no, that's just that's just no man's land that the blue team made out to keep their colony safe. So they think that it's like a sign that everything below that this new border is cursed and no one should ever go there. So yeah, that's that's gonna spark some discussions when the blue team decides to colonize the rest of that land because right now they're preparing to. Anyways, yeah. So eventually the integration of this land occurs. And instability is starting to become an issue of the past in the in Bharat. But their economic state is well, it went it went something like this. It went something like like that. And ever since here it's on a slow and painful decline. Uh yeah. They're not in the best economic state right now. Persia, meanwhile, decides to issue a policy of ISO ISO not ISO speed. ISO we got, hold on, one second. What one second, let me think about this. Isolationism. I hope I said that right. Uh that's yeah, they they pursue a policy of that and decide to not expand anymore. But they do expand one more time along the Indus River for good measure. And this expansion is gonna look something like 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 this. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. Actually, they're just going to, like, lose a bit of land for the sake of things looking nice. They're actually going to, let's say they sell that land as a for free as a show of goodwill to the Stanistan Republic. They turn a new leaf. They turn a new page in the book with Stanist Stanistan, because, you know, these guys have fought a lot of wars. A lot of wars. So, yeah, Stanistan accepts the gift. That's nice. They don't get ghosted, unlike, unlike the Koreans. Koreans got ghosted so many times throughout this. Korean Republic. Well, I mean, the Korean Republic doesn't even exist anymore. It's just the Sino Empire now. Uno reverse card was pulled. Okay, I am bad at this. By the way, are you guys still enjoying the Minecraft videos? Because every time I post a Minecraft video, it does worse than the mapping videos. So go ahead and drop a like on this video. If y'all still like the Minecraft videos, just go ahead and drop that big fat like button. Click that. Also click the subscribe button. Because it's very, very, very cool. Okay, so now we're actually going to have a big major event happening. We are going to have the war. What year is it? Okay, uh, no, no, I don't mean in real life. I mean, like, in this world. I'm going to say the year is... The year zero was when Mesopotamia first started existing. The year now is... 1100, yes. 11... 1112. So the war of... No, 1116. Yes, th that seems more likely. So the war of 1116. A war between these two. Now, remember last video when I said anyone could just snatch land from Barath at this point and they won't be able to do anything about it? Guess who just snatched land from Barath at this point and they weren't able to do anything about it? That's right. If you guessed the blue team, you would be correct. They take a couple of lands. First, they, they, they take this portion of land. Nope. They take this portion of land. They take this portion of... Nope. No, they don't. They take this portion of land. Uh, basically, just the tip of India. They take this little hook-looking thing. And oh, also, since they colonized that part, uh, now now for the for the Bharatis, um, they're basically devils. They're literally devils who are who who are um, according to Bharat legend, are here to destroy Bharat, which is somewhat true. I mean, they're not here exclusively to destroy Bharat. They're here to just colonize Bharat. And as you're gonna see soon, that's not gonna go very well for them, because you know, Bharat just cured its instability problem, and now that these guys are here, the instability problem is back up as there's no one here to, like, govern peace. Because the way Barat worked, it, like, started doing what Ethiopia does and allowing every tribe to have some autonomy. The blue team took that away, which means war. A call for war is made by the Barathi Empire. Well, no, it's not an empire. It's more of a republic. And very quickly, with an unsupplied hook thing, the hook collapses. With this, uh, the capital of the Barath colony was in this little chunk, which is destroyed. And so the capital has moved into Sri Lanka, where it used to be. And following that, the blue team starts losing land fast. However, eventually, after armed blue team soldiers get over here, uh, yeah, no more Bharat, no more Bharati soldiers. This is Bharat's first war, so cut them some slack. That, that yeah, this is their first war. Uh, not much happens on this side of things, just because Persian troops help a little bit. Meanwhile. Protests break out in Mesopotamia to join on the side of Barath. The, the, the Republic, or no, the Empire says no, however, as they are not in the position of a war still. They're still kind of just trying to shuffle between being able to manage these two because instability. So, after some more fighting, Barath is eventually reduced even further to basically nothing. 
because you know now all their stuff is useless land that that they did industrialize. Um, eventually, the coast over here is uh, captured, leading to an increased front as Barat slowly, painfully starts losing land. And well, it was kind of expected they were going to lose this war. They just want to hold out as long as possible, so they get some some say in the peace treaty. They don't. Barathi rebels are, are not rebels. Not rebels yet. <laughs> not rebels yet, at least. Uh, are chased into some native territories, which are now scouted out. But peace. So, in this peace treaty, the only thing that changes is the loss of the coast. Most of the coast. Barat loses all of this land, I guess. Uh, treaty, all of the coastline is annexed, and the rest of the country is completely puppet stated by the blue team. So that's nice for the blue team. Over in Europe, the no man's land is causes a war between the red team, like every every country that borders it. Um, and it's a three-way war, so there are no sides, but there are like some things where chill with me, I'll chill with you. Let's just kill the red team first. Uh, Netherlands are quickly and swiftly invaded and somewhat partitioned between the brown team, uh, the Germanics and the uh, um, the British. But uh, no, fun fact, no. So after pushback, all the land is recaptured. Meanwhile, over in the south, the red team makes a huge push into Germany, or not Germany, Polia, the Republic of Polia. Uh, eventually, this is defeated. However, um, some squadrons lead to continuous, like, yeah, you get the point. Um, however, one thing that does happen is the red team starts scouting out and capturing a bunch of the no man's land. Over here, um, the, the Polish, Polish, uh, the, Pol the Polia gets screwed over because the yellow team interferes and very quickly begins the process of capturing all of this land. Now, the goal here is not even to just win the war. It's to just convert as many people as possible to the to um uh yellow team culture so that it causes instability and then in the future yellow team has much i guess loyalty from polia uh however no because polia just kind of bye bye polia let's just say that and see polia is not actually even able to blockade this so that immediately falls after the fall of denmark polia kind of just no more polia uh British, before dying to the Red Team, quickly find a peace treaty and peace. So, let's take a look at this peace treaty. So, in this... I undo too much. Okay. In this peace treaty, we have the entirety of Polia, except for Denmark, which is independent. I, no, it's not independent. It's just completely just annexed by um, the Yellow Team. So, they finally have control again. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. They actually do more than just that. They they just they go ahead and take the entirety of the coast. Um, like that. I I say yeah, that makes that looks yellow teamy, I guess. No, it does not actually. No, it does not. That looks horrifying. They actually only take We're back. Um this is what uh, the yellow team annexed. The rest is uh, the rest of the brown team uh, polia is severely influenced but not incorporated into the yellow team. And then uh, the Netherlands are gone. They're just, they're just, no more Netherlands. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye, dinga dinga. No more existence. You know, you know. No, no. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, no more Netherlands. Um, however, the red team actually does not take anything from um, Polio, which is actually a smart move because they're already pretty unstable. Oh, guess who died? The red team, uh, the red team president. Oh, not president. Monarchy. Guess what just happened? An all-out civil war. This civil war is actually kind of limited to just Spain, as every other part has achieved the autonomy, uh, uh, not anatomy, anatomy, autonomy they want to, or just independence completely, which is no part. So, yeah, uh, very quickly, the civil war comes to an end, and now we see the power getting handed into the hands of one of the most ruthless leaders the blue team has ever seen. He will, he will strive, to take the blue team, not blue, why am I saying blue, I mean red team, to complete domination. Meanwhile, Africa, um, in the next video, is going to finally completely get colonized. Uh, same with Asia. And then we will see the colonization.